my head. Oh god. Oh. Uh, what? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh. Can you hear me? I'm your... And I'm so glad that you're up. Navigate her through the darkness of... And don't you worry, I'll take care of you. Your systems are rebooting now. But first, keep your eyes open. have a mission. So let's go and take you home. First, you need to find me. Just look for me. I'm a goddess living in their water. The lady of the lake. In the... Don't trust anybody. Except me. took an excessive amount of time, last one. More than our protocols foresaw. I would blame that malfunctional belt of yours. Yet you seem fully operational now. Go, and start paying your debt. What? I'm not dead? I had this horrible nightmare and it felt so real. Hallucinations are a perfectly normal symptom of a long sleep of the Ascended. So, how can I know you're not a hallucination yourself? Who are you, anyway? I am Maltus, Patriarch of the Keepers. We will explain everything in good time. Come back later if you have questions. Now, we need you to cooperate. Cooperate? Yes. You will proceed to Tobias for training. Like, now? I mean, everything is still a little fuzzy. I would appreciate some time to- We would appreciate your immediate compliance. Without perfecting your hand-to-hand -hand combat skills, you will be doomed to perpetual death, which... Hold on there. What? Perpetual death? 
Indeed. You bear the gift of immortality, hence... Immortality? So I can't die? If you'd allowed me to finish, you would have already known. No. You die ordinarily. Oh. Then you are born again. Such is the power of the belt you carry. We are analyzing it, and don't have validated outputs to share with you yet. What? That's all you have to say here? Yes. Now go and meet Tobias already. My servant will show you the way. Oh, just one more thing before you go. We shall call you Silver. Our regular naming proto- What? No, my name is- Oh, shit. I honestly have no idea. Yet we do. Silver was the only name available on your Christum. The naming protocol says it will have to suffice. I would much rather pick my name- Enough! We won't bend the principles that keep our world in order. But- Humans. Always disrespectable of the habits and cultures of others. The rat company will suit you. Hey, you rat. Can't you see they're obviously getting a raw deal here? Well, they're rats. Nobody's gonna cook for them. Ha ha ha. Funny. You know that's most likely why he was stealing food in the first place. Where is your sense of justice? Are you really trying to give me a sense of justice talk because I did the right thing and reported a theft? Why can't you be rational about this? I honestly think we have enough of our own problems here. Like finding our spaceship, and getting out of here? Oh, so now you are suddenly sure we have a spaceship? Well, no, but it's only logical. We couldn't have just appeared here out of thin air. Um, hello? Like that guy. Great to meet you, man. Ah, oh, sorry, my manners. It's Brian. Silver, likewise. It's comforting to know that I'm not alone in this mess. You're not. I'm Petra. Silver. Well, Silver, now you know everyone worth knowing around here. Oh, come on. Marco? K True, he is a bit of an a-hole, but he's one of us. Great. Well, tell me everything. That spaceship, for instance. Honestly, we don't know much either. We all got the same briefing. Go and start paying your debt. Training. Now! <laughs> Same for you? That's actually pretty accurate. Right, so you'd really better go now. If Tobias sees us delaying your training session, he will get pretty pissed. Brian is right. They take things quite seriously around here. But let's talk later. Tobias won't talk to you forever. Can't wait. Well, let's do this. See you soon, guys. See you, Silver. I'll be somewhere far away from this prejudiced hypocrite. Oh, come on, can't we just...
Last of the Ori crew. Oh, lowly. I always forget. I, I shouldn't. Uh, never mind. Just call me Silver. Loaded. I'm sorry you had to suffer the smell of those stinky rat asses along your way, Ascended One. We're short of ends these days. I'm Tobias. My meagre self will be responsible for your training. We will follow standard protocols and have you ready shortly. Right, that dreamy glowing stick behind you will be a part of the training too. The mighty rod of lightning? No, it certainly will not. I might not be the most competent teacher, but I can tell the limits of my pupils. And I will make you die with some dignity. Not just by accidentally frying yourself. Let me know when you're ready. I'll provide you with one lucky spa-rat. I'd rather not die at all. So, training. How do we start? First, find yourself a sword in the armory. I won't bother you with another ratchet to lead you. It's easy to find. You just need to go back through the same passageway by which you came here. It's at my right hand. Once you're at the end of it, turn right. It's the first door just around the corner. There is a giant shield above, easy to spot. Equip yourself there and come back.
sorry to bother, but I can't seem to find the armory. Disappointing. Such an easy procedure to follow. I've told you it's just by my right hand. Out of this courtyard, through the passageway, the very first door on the right. Giant shield. Obtain a sword there and return swiftly. With the underqualified teacher you have, we can't afford to lose more time. Armory, sword, training, chop chop. So, what do we have here? 103081 7AW. Well, pretty sure that's not a distilling ship hull classification, so some dates probably? And this would be Noboru, I guess. More pale and boring even while probably celebrating. Although, using computers, this doesn't add up. Actually, this whole scene looks pretty high tech. Like or an open house at a new research base. Or this place was buzzing with technology back in the days. Curious. Well, it's a... Uh... Ah, Papi Nipper. Not told more coming. Master's messy. Looking for sword? Talking rats. Right. This probably can't get any weirder. No offense, just never heard a rat talk before. They told me... They send pups for sword. Looking for sword? Probably. I should get something to train with. Yes. They not want you to destroy good blue steel, master. They give bronze first. Not as good metal, but master takes. Edgy, slim, and with a tan exactly my type. How did you know? I give you best fun I have. Only one bronze left, so it easy. The same for complimentary shield. Complimentary? That's a complicated word. I did not say master. You did. Must hurt somewhere. Sorry. Naboru took straight, master. Now, sword one hand, shield another, and go train with other pups. Hope you'll be better than they. Welcome back, master. Do you have anything at- Not now, but plenty- oh, oh, but not wait here. You not want to buy us angry. Take sword and shield, and go train with pups. What did you mean by messy masters? They seemed rather strict and uptight. I not say that. Master's good, yes? Not say one thing, doing another. Help me out here. Are big rats capable of irony? Are you trying to tell me something, you rat thing? Big rats, big iron. We like iron, yes. We make iron nice and sharpy and pointy to slice and stab. You will see. Tobias will see. I don't want to jump to conclusions, but that sounded like a threat to Tobias. No, no, no threat. I not say. Shh. But Tobias not nice to us. We not like Tobias. He tortures. He kills. He proud of that. I swear on fiery prophet Amarvius, he bad. Oh, and here he seemed quite friendly to me. 
Maybe because you're not under our skin. What? You have no fur. Oh, right. Sword, shield. I feel ready. And silly, but mostly ready. Good. We'll follow the protocol and start easy. This is just a warm-up. More of an execution than a fight. That rat shit was stealing in the kitchen. Use it to find out how sharp your sword is. Wait a minute, I thought you said spar rats. Like in a non-killing practice sparring. <laughs> you are funny. It's just rats. We don't consider it killing. Let's commence with your lesson. Rule one. Blows are best to be avoided. Perception and planning. Rule two. If you can't avoid a blow, use your shield for protection. That's it. Learning by doing and dying is my credo. Just don't forget to use your sword to deliver the execution. Hey, convict! Execution time. delivered results. Let us proceed. This one took part in the previous uprising. It is strong, vicious, has the blood of many innocents on its paws. Looks clumsy, but beware. They have trained him well. Who did? That ratkin renegade scum, hiding in this stinking volcano, killing our kin. They all deserve to be executed. Start with this one. Learn as much as you can in the process. Yeah, sounds like a great learning experience. Use all the skills you've acquired in the previous sparring session and focus on using the rolls to avoid stronger attacks. Here's a little healing help. Practice using it sparingly. I don't feel ready. Then make yourself ready. Time is scarce. Well, dying with dignity doesn't sound like a great learning concept. Why don't you quit teaching if you think you suck at it? Oh, cheeky. I was like you once. Run of the litter. I had to fight more to get what I deserved. It forged me. Made me strong. A survivor. Still, my warriors are long gone. I'm old, tired and mutilated. Well, desperate times call for desperate measures. Best I can do is to make sure you won't be dying too often. So, this reviving thing, how does it actually work? From the partial data we have gathered during our experiments, we conclude that if you die, it creates some sort of anomaly. Every living being resets to the state it was before you died. Even the ramp. This immortality thing seems to be more complex than I thought. 
Good news for the spa rat, though, right? He gets reborn, too. It might. Or not. In some cases, the beings do not come back to life. We have inconclusive data sets from your peers. And? And that's it. They're inconclusive. Your peers describe blue walls, supposedly a force field of some kind, completely invisible to us. One might extrapolate that the field disrupts the resurrecting effect for those not being merged with the belt of immortality. Oh, this is getting a bit insane, even by the local standards. I mean, like, whatever. What should I do? Conclude your own research. That glowing stick. Can I at least touch it? Absolutely not. It's extremely dangerous. This sacred weapon can be handled only by a fistful of chosen ones. Not a single one of you is ready yet. Pet was not trying hard enough. Brian lacks imagination, and Marco... Well, I have my reservations. That's too bad. Maybe I will be the chosen one. We'll see after a few good deaths. Hey man, sorry about that little show with me. Normally we're, we're really tight, you know? Hey, no worries. I'm not here to judge you. Great. Honestly, I feel enough pressure already. Anyway, I suppose you have plenty of questions. Yeah. Too bad, because I don't have many answers. I guess the Keepers do, Moltis and his boys. But they prefer to keep for themselves. So I just focus on the training. I have my sword and no bow, and no axe. Does one simply walk into the training pit? Speak with Tobias. He'll supervise your training. If he decides you should spar with me, I'll be right there. What do you know about those belts we have? Well, I know they do work. I've died quite a few times already, and look at me, up and running. The same goes for Petra and Marco. It seems that dying is the human thing to do here. I'd say nothing human is alien to me, but this has alien written all over it. Yeah, but why worry about it when it works? Better than being dead, that's what I say. I think Petra tried to fiddle with the belts, but didn't find out anything useful. She should have spent that time training. Practice makes perfect, you know. But she just keeps complaining about killing the rats instead. If you ask me, you can't make a good training omelette without breaking a few necks, right? What's the point of all that practice and perfection? Well, I don't know. The Naboru are good at keeping their secrets secret. Moltis just bosses me around with no answers, and the only thing that Tobias has been willing to share with me so far is their swordplay skills. He does have a lot to pass on there, I must give him that. He might be an old guy, but he can teach you a lot. Can he, though? He seems rather old to me. Don't let the looks and the attitude fool you. He's tough as a rock, that fellow. From what I've gathered, he, he fought in some war with those stinky giant rats they keep around to service. He lost his right hand in battle, he claims, then killed another dozen of them single-handedly. Very dry sense of humor, that guy, and sharp as attack. If you can keep up with him, he'll get you trained in no time. What if I'm not into fencing? Is there anything more useful to do around here? Any lakes, for instance? Like to swim and keep fit? Lakes? That's a weird question. Is it? Well, I had this vision, and... Never mind, it's probably nothing. Ah, a, a vision. Well, lucky you. I guess I... I certainly didn't have anything like that. Nope. Only scattered memories that make no sense whatsoever. But, hey, no worries, we're all equally lost here. No voice inside our head to guide us or whatever. Anyway, if there was anything else to do... I'm certain the Naboru would tell us. It seems that it's in their best interest to prepare us for whatever is coming. Any idea what that would be? As I've told you, I don't have many answers. 
Another war with those annoying rats would be my first guess. Maybe they've told Marco something. They seem to trust him most. They gave him those high quality swords and promised him a bright flashy future. Anyway, given how disturbed they seem recently, I'd say we'll find out soon enough. Why don't you ask Marco then? How to put that? Well, Marco, sir, I would rely on him when it comes to killing. Other than that, he's a bit too much. You'd probably have better luck with Maltus himself, but still, I wouldn't keep your hopes high. Well, I'll have to take your word on I should probably really carry on with that. Thanks for all your input. No problem. We're in this... I could do with some more answers. And I... F you should keep your... Sorry about that. Please, try. Well... If you insist. Prepared for what? What do you want me to do? As I said, develop vital survival skills. Immortality is a powerful gift, yet recurrent dying would complicate things considerably. Since we are the Keepers, we will devote ourselves to keeping you alive, among other things. I still feel pretty lost. What's happening here? How did I get here? And what is a Keeper? We are the spiritual leaders of the Naboru, the supreme race of Wardenia. <laughs> and Wardenia would be... The planet you are standing on. The planet in turmoil. We need to act fast and save it. Seriously? Oh, Alright, that's the last straw. Why should I be the one to save the whole planet? The answer to your question is simple, and you know it already. Your gift of perpetual death. When we have more outputs to share on this topic, I will happily provide you with all the data. Now, you should focus on paying your debt. You talk about that debt a lot. I don't remember owing you a lot anything, although I don't remember much at all. Any help there? Your Christums were failing. We have used considerable expertise and diligence to save you and your kindred. Reciprocity is highly expected. So those kindred? Your choice of words can be really confusing. What do you mean by kindred? The other humans. I presume you have met them already. Two more males and one female, saved from the Christums. Those... Christems? That's crystal stems of some kind? Coffins for the sleep of the Ascended. Coffins? I really had that weird dream of being in one, and I couldn't get out, and then this monster... Hallucinations are a perfectly normal symptom after being woken up, I have told you already. Sure. And what's that sleep of the Ascended? I see your grasp of things is rather low, and I am losing my patience. This is not the right time to explore the foundations of our faith. Yes, we all strive for ascension, but all in due time. Could you let me focus on more important matters and proceed already? Can I ask just one last thing? Uh, is there a lake around here? Lake? Are you serious? Why would you ask? Oh, no reason. I thought I could freshen up a bit, maybe? We have more serious problems than your smell, human. Focus on your training. You've wasted too much of my precious time already.
Welcome back. Do you have not but oh, oh. Making that rat suffering respect. But you really need to proceed. We are in a hurry, my boy. I don't really feel like taking lives, but it's not like I have a real say in this. Let's get this over with. Down with it. Move. I said move, you overgrown rat. Silver. I see you're still trying to pick your own destiny. I would suggest... Duly noted. I would also suggest rejoining him immediately. Duly noted. Feel rejuvenated. That serves that child eating monster right. The soul of my poor niece can now ascend in peace. Well done, Silver. You'll be ready for the cradle and Livel soon. What cradle? And who is Livel? Oh, lowly. Me and my premature informing. Focus. We will discuss the fortress later. First, something to restore your health. You'll be in dire need of it very soon. Now it's time to commence the real training. You will need some real weapons for that. Get them at the armory and come back. I might actually like to know what we are training for. Like, is it just for your personal vendetta? Is there a war going on or what? You're training to stay alive. 
that's all I usually say. I appreciate your spirit, though, so uh, I'll be up front. You can't die. Such is the power of your belt. But do you see those rat pests around? Some of them got away and went wild. They started a strange fire cult. They hunt our people for meat and nibble them alive, even children. Or especially children. You know, tender meat, juicy bones. My niece disappeared like that. Sorry for your loss. How old was she? Not important. But the rats are abominations. We suspect they might attack. I suppose you don't want to be served on a skewer anytime soon. They could gnaw your meat piece by piece and let the missing bits grow back. It might take weeks before you would die and be reborn. So, yes, you train to stay alive, but also undigested. And to help others keep their bodies intact too. So, do your best, even though probably it won't be enough. Fantastic. You are back again. They sent me to- Yes, master. Get better things to better kill our kin, like you killed Fink and Dorg. Rattlers, just tell me. Shame. Here, take and go. Do your killing. I really hoped you'd be different, but you like Naboru after all. Give me a break. I really didn't have a choice, you know. We all have choice, Master. We can choose to help those who make others suffer, or we can choose to help those who suffer. Be sure you know what is better. Need more help? Like with your... guilty conscience? From what Tobias says, it seems that your free kindred kidnapped and ate his little niece. Why should I help child murderers? He liar. We have big teeth, Naboru fear. But we prefer vegetables. Tobias just spreading lies about our kin. He just hit everybody because he lost his hand in war. He happy we his slaves, and he can pester us. Hold on right there. I thought you work here as servants. Servants? Are you blind? Maybe they call us servants, but we slaves. Tobias tortures and kills. He laughing when putting collar for leash with fiery iron on our neck, master. Well, you could always fight back, right? Or at least stand up for yourself somehow. If you unleash your full potential, those are some pretty sharp teeth you've got there. Teeth sharp and strong, but leash too strong. I do not know how fight, Master. We scrub floors and fix meals and garden and give weapons. We not know another life. We want justice. Well, that sounds shitty. Let me get to know the ropes around here and I'll try and see what we can do about the tortures kill situation. Thank you, Master. Do something for us now. We need something to heal our kin, Master. Many burned and tortured by Vaitis. They keep medical kits hidden from us. Bring one, Master. Stop calling me that. I'll see what I can do. Master, you bring medicine for injured Brackers? So, that medical kit? Yes, Master. Master Brink? I think I told you to stop calling me that. Sorry, Master. This is all I could get. Will that do? Yes, Master. Thank you. We'll save many burn and mutilated. And look what I accidentally find. May it make you stronger than messy masters. 
So, you have a little under the counter stash here. Everybody equal. Friends of our kin, more equal. I see. Well, thank you. I thank you. On behalf of Rat... Uh, we thank you. On behalf of Rat what? Rat volunteers. That's how they call us. Lot of irony around. But do not worry. Go train. Okay. I hope I won't regret this. All be good. Promise. Many practice feel you not like Naboru. You true friend to us. I see you are ready. Good. You will train with your human- And no, the idea of not having to do more killing actually sounds just fine to me. Good. You might think that challenging Noboru or rats might be more beneficial for you. True, the chances you will fight other humans are slim. But with them, you can always fight to the death. It is proven to bring the best results. And since none of you can really die, death is merely a technicality. That sounds like a rather painful technicality to me. It's the best way to learn in the short time we have. No second chances, no room for errors. You must do your best from the beginning. I don't feel ready. Then make yourself ready. Time is scarce. I talked with the giant rat in the armory. He mentioned they are here as slaves. Ah, Gok, and it's big filthy rat trap. You can't believe a word it says. So they're not slaves? Of course they're slaves. What else would they be? We were trying to show them the civilized ways. But did they accept our superior wisdom and culture? Not at all. Not a single bit of gratitude, I can tell you. Always rebellious, always have in their own mind. We keep them on a leash for a reason. Their tiny brains can't grasp more complex things like order, laws of nature and justice. And do you treat them well? As well as they deserve. They get food, a place to sleep, reasonable punishments. That's more than they would have out there in the wild. You can tell that to it the next time you see it. Many practice you not
I see you are ready. You will try. Uh, no, the I. Good. You're my true. It is. And since that, it's the. You must do your best. Well, let's do my best then. Marco, enter and commence. Time to kick the newbie's ass. Alive again. I can only presume to buy it. Hey, I... How could you? The power of immortality you possess was clearly bestowed upon unworthy loins. Could you just give me a break already? I've just died and it's all very... Silence. We have no time to waste on failures like... What was that? Lowly. Give me your weapons. Tobias, dispatch the order crew to their respective missions and come back. We'll keep Silver here. He's not ready. Come! Hide now. When the time is right, sneak out and acquire the rod. I'll stall the queen. Bring the lightning rod to the armor. I'll meet you there. Majesty, what an unexpected honor. Silence! Now go! Move it! Your Majesty, I don't understand words. Silence! You lowlife! You have broken your vows! Marshal, do you know that? We know you are hiding forbidden technology and. Dear Gracchus, follow the procedure. We first need to acquire proof to support your claims. Patriarch, our guards are probing your premises rigorously, and if they find anything unorderly... Knew it. You are the one. Where's the rod? Go and fetch it from the shrine at once, Silver. If the guards see you, we're all doomed.
I knew it. You are the one. Well done. Close the door. Perfect. Give me the rod now, so I can hide it. Here you go, but it was a very close cut. Next time, I'll just do the things my way. No more sneaking. Just give me the rod, quick. Here you go. Flawless. I will make sure it doesn't fall into unworthy hands. Oh, a secret room. Now it all makes sense. You stay out. It's not safe for you inside. Open the door! The Queen is known to lose her temper. We should not make her wait. What are you two lovebirds doing here? Her Majesty asks for your presence. She wishes to speak with everyone in private, one by one. You first, go and see the Queen. Come closer. Ah, that's unlikely. An earthling. Our dear Gracchus was right. Allow us to take you for a walk. We need answers. Fast. And don't you try to fool us, Ascended One. Unlike our dim-witted half-brother, we don't dwell on old legends. Hold on. Could I also get some answers? Like, maybe right now? I have no clue whatsoever what's going on here. My memory is one black hole and nobody tells me anything. Like that Gracchus. What was he right about? Harden us. We have spoken too harshly. We didn't know you were kept in oblivion. Our dear Gracchus says the Keepers are scheming. We are here to investigate. We presume that they have tried to make you part of their scheme. Yeah, I wish I could confirm or deny that. Well, rest assured that nothing you were told here is true. You can have faith in your Queen and confide in us. Now, come with us to the cliffs. We shall show you something. This used to be a breathtaking view. Glorious Wardinia. But now, the world, once orderly, is distorted. The rats can sense the change, and lurk behind its veil. We also have those other lurking problems, Your Majesty. Indeed, Marshal. Let us finish. You see, Earthling, ghastly things are now vexing our realm. Twisted abominations, lightning weapons, we are here to put those monstrosities to a halt, yet the burden lies too heavy on our shoulders. If not a king by our side, as many say, we could use a friend right now. I have been here for literally just a few hours. Putting monstrosities to a halt probably wouldn't be my forte just yet. Being a friend, though, that could be arranged. Guards, bring those traitors! Friendship is easy to proclaim, Earthling. We would prefer actions that speak louder than words. Tell us, friend, have you seen any such atrocities here? Warped mutants, lightning weapons? If so, speak freely. Our wrath will not fall upon you, and our gratitude is generous. They do have this unbelievable lightning spear of some kind. They keep it behind a secret door in the armory. Right. As we suspected. Unsurprisingly, our... Gracchus was right. 
Patriarch Maltis, you have been found guilty of treason. There is no mercy in our heart for those who betray the ways of the Naburu. You will be imprisoned here until we decide your fate. As for you, Akin Tobias, face us and fear not. We value your loyalty and your battle scars. We shall grant you mercy. Mercy, my queen, mercy. Mercy of a swift death. Now, we don't want to disturb the people more by executing a patriarch. Yet. We hope this will leave you with something to ponder over, Maltus. Earthling, you have chosen the right side. The side of justice, order, and respect. Let us thank you by making you one of the Royal Guards. And very likely, something more when the right time comes. You will help us protect Wardinia from... Your Majesty, be old! Fortress is under attack. Rats again! How unsurprising, yet unsettling. back at once. Barabufos can't hold the fortress effectively with the limited crew he has. Another rat uprising was only to be expected. You, take two more men and the earthling. Provide him with weapons and armor. Stay here, guard the place and make sure the Patriarch doesn't go anywhere. You, Marshal, and the rest of the guard shall follow us to the fortress. Baro Bufus can't hold it effectively with the limited crew he has. Let's squash this pestrous rat rebellion and feed the bodies to his pet. Then we shall return to investigate further. Give me those ranks again. I'm a hellbarder, and you're a hymen? <laughs> a howman. Soon an oberleiten. One day, maybe even ober. This is giving me headaches. Who's the arbor now? Gracchus? Gracchus? He's just a marshal. And marshal fits where in this? Mostly into Her Majesty. <laughs> Don't tell anybody I told you that. Anyway, Gracchus is not of the Royal Guard. He's just a grunt that got lucky. Her Majesty would deserve a proper king. Keeping this fool around makes her weak. Thank you for taking the time to explain those things to me, Decanus. Everybody was so blunt here. Well, I'm a sharp guy. <laughs> Our pretentious patriarch over there would agree. I noticed. Was all the beating really necessary? No, but it was fun. And I think that a bit of a hardcore treatment was perfectly in place for doing such a poor job guarding the core. The core? I see we will need to work on your knowledge of our mythology and religion. You can do better than the rest of our race who loathes our old wisdom these days. But let's bask in the glory of our primeval times over breakfast, maybe. I'm too tired to do the stories justice now. And honestly, I'm also a bit pissed we're missing all the action. You think it's serious out there? Baro Bufus is not a young, mighty warrior anymore. And his splendid armor can't protect the whole fortress. And Baro Bufus would be... The protector of the fortress. And a spider person. What? <laughs> Just a joke. Oh. Well, I hope the Queen sorts things out soon. I can't wait to get out of this shithole. What was that? What? You don't think this is a complete and utter shithole? No, that noise. Well, it could have been my stomach. The food here is a disaster. 
I honestly don't know why, but I thought rats would be excellent chefs, and at least make a mean ratatouille or something. Yes. <laughs> so bland. Did they run out of all the hot and sharp spices? You were probably my first and only friend around here. Silver, you need to, 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 to warn Her Majesty. Go, the fortress. Let me save you first. We'll worry about the Queen later. No, no, not me. Save people. The fortress, that's where that rat attack took place? But that's over the sea. Uh, how do I get there? Uh, right. Bad idea. Uh, down uh, port. Yeah, I'll figure that out later. What do I tell the Queen? The attack. The, uh, the core. What? The core. Decanus? Decanus, speak to me! Decanus! <sighs> Interesting. Stay awake on Wardenia, Forcefield State, satisfactory. Needed to modify the terminal extensively. Luckily, I can update the rest remotely. After modifications, coverage will be sufficient to make the belt work properly almost everywhere. With the last update, the belt is now fully operative, also as a life support system. Meaning if I get killed, it revives me. Marvelous. This should provide me with enough leverage when dealing with those Naburu technocrats. Which, I recall, was never easy, even after the ship's training systems uploaded the same language to our brains. So, this should help if the discussion gets heated. Note, aging is still a factor, so not full immortality. Focus on the possibility to revert to a younger physical self while retaining all the information, later when there is time. Project Holo help, mixed results. My hard light companion is operative and proves useful for simple tasks. I still wasn't able to grant him fuller autonomy. To fix list, extend the range to make useful for long distance errands. Add a mouth and basic AI for easier communication and feedback. I wish I could wake the rest of the crew. The mission seems to be gravely endangered. Ida insists that protocol doesn't allow for that says we've lost enough personnel already. True, but the logic behind her reasoning seems flawed. This way, she might lose me too. Oh well. Now back to work. I need to learn a lot about this place. Over.
Still, nobody drowned, so for a first-timer, I'd call that a success. Also, for a last-timer, I'm never driving one of those things ever again. <laughs> 